Hey there, fellows. Here's what I'd like to show you in this episode. I want to replicate something that happened to me this one time. Wait, have you seen our new Freddy-style t-shirt? If not, hit the link in the description. If you're still here, you should know that aside from a new t-shirt, we offer a lot of other different merch, bearing the Garage 54 logo. Past payment issues have been solved, and now you can send payment for your order even via PayPal. So if you'd like to treat yourself, a friend, or a relative to some awesome Garage 54 merch, hit the link in the description to head on over to our shop. And don't forget to use the promo code for a solid discount. Now back to the video. What am I referring to? Well, let me tell you. So a couple of years ago, I found this rusty spot on my car, which I decided to rectify to keep it from spreading. I brought the car inside the garage, took it apart, and the thought occurred to me that I might want to charge the battery. And so I hooked it up to a charger, then I prepped the car getting ready to start welding. And when there was only a tiny bit of welding left, there was a big bang that left my ears ringing for like half an hour. I didn't understand what happened at first. But then I realized that the battery exploded. So as we all know, though some people might not, while charging, a battery tends to emit a lot of stuff. The chemical composition is quite complicated, but it's mostly hydrogen, which is extremely flammable. You were paying attention in chemistry class, right? And so here I've got a battery, an old one that we don't really need. I'm gonna charge it, get it to boil and make it emit hydrogen. And here I have something to generate a spark. So this right here is a convenient little shocker, which packs quite a punch. I'm gonna use it to spark the hydrogen and replicate what occurred right here a number of years ago. Now this is quite dangerous, so don't try it. I mean, who knows how the battery will explode. In my case, the cap blew off, but it can really do anything. Okay, now we begin preparation. I've moved the car outside, just in case. I've removed the plugs, the charger is ready. This charger has been through a lot. I've had it for a really long time. So now I hook it up. As for why I removed the plugs. I did mention that it's pretty old, we don't need it. I reckon it'll take 15 to 20 minutes for it to start boiling. It doesn't take that long. The thing is that I want to know when it gets there. At that point I'll put the plugs back in and attach the wire through which we'll transfer the spark. So we have cobbled together this device right here. Here's the wire. This used to be a portable light that needed repair. Now it came in handy for this experiment. I've connected the wires on this end and on the other side I've peeled away the insulation and tied the two ends together. And this actually generates one hell of a spark. Allow me to demonstrate. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, maybe a bit more. And as you can see, it's already starting to boil. It is dead. Now it's time to put the plugs back in. We'll wait a bit more for the gases to accumulate and give it a hit. I'm gonna stick this on with some electrical tape. And we'll be good. Right above this pack. The battery that blew up on me didn't have any plugs. You couldn't service it. The gases escaped through the sides, I think. Apparently the welder generated a spark, it came passing by those gases. And that was a pretty epic explosion. Okay, we're ready, are you guys ready? I've even exited the garage, because I'm afraid I'm not gonna survive the second time around. For some reason, this didn't work the first time around. 
Perhaps we had to wait a bit longer. After fitting the plugs, I mean. Now, hydrogen is pretty volatile. So I'm guessing it might have dissipated. Now, you know what? It's probably because the cells are all separate. In the non-serviceable type, you have three cells going one way and another three going the other way, I think. Whatever, enough talk, let's do this. Okay, here's the situation. We've tried this a few times and failed. And so I've stuck this cup on. Because I remember when we would extract hydrogen in chemistry class, it was always lighter than air, and so it found its way up. We'd collect it in a flask using a tube, and then we'd light it. It's pretty much the same idea in this case. Again, since the cells are separate, there's just not enough gas coming out for us to ignite. Either that or it's dissipating too fast. That's what I'm trying to prevent with the help of this cup. I've covered all of the big gaps with masking tape. And now we just have to wait. I mean, this just has to work. It shouldn't misfire now, right? Let's do this. Trying this for a third time. And hopefully it'll be the last. Here is where we're at with this, guys. Yeah, if it were by accident, be it because of an angle grinder or a welder, it definitely would have exploded. But when you're deliberately trying to detonate it, it just doesn't want to. So here's what I've done. I've removed one of the plugs and stuck the wires, the ends that generate a spark. I stuck them right in there. I was somewhat able to insulate it using a bit of tape. Now I'm gonna wait for a bit, go outside and press the button. If it doesn't go kablamo now, I'm just gonna have to keep experimenting. Well, we did see something. You can still see the steam coming out. The gases, I mean. That which are supposed to explode. Part of it is hydrogen. You all know about detonating gas, right? Hydrogen plus oxygen. That blows up even from a weak-ass spark. Be it from a welder or an angle grinder. A cigarette butt. Or just a lit-up cigarette or cigar, whatever. I mean, even walking past a battery on a charger with a cigarette is pretty dangerous. You might witness an unpleasantly epic detonation, with acid spraying all over the place. And this ain't some kitty acid. It'll easily ruin your clothes. It can even... Especially if you have cuts on your hands, you are not gonna enjoy coming into contact with it. But hey, we made it in the end. The battery went kablamo. I don't recommend you try this. And that's all we got for you. Watch us, comment, suggestions, like, all right, catch you later.